Hello everyone, welcome back to the second video of this tutorial series which is Laravel 5 file upload tutorial series, okay? So in the last video, we just set up our application and created a simple view file which just shows this HTML H2 header here which says upload files here, okay? So in this video, we're going to create our upload form and then create a method which handles um, when we submit files to that form, okay? So first what we need to do is go to our text editor in here and then um, Let's create a layouts file first. So inside views um, resources for slash views folder here. Inside um, let's create a folder called layouts. And in there we're gonna create a master.blade.php file. And um, in there let me just uh, paste in a simple HTML snippet which will serve as our base layout um, template. Okay, so as you can see I've done that and. Um, if you're familiar with Laravel views a little bit, you know that in here is where any um, view file which extends from the, this master layout will um, have its content being shown. Okay, so next inside of our upload template here, let's extend that master layout that we just created. So I'm going to do at extends um, layout dot master. Okay. So next, let me just define the section which our master layout requires. So this H2 will go inside there. So we're gonna say add section. And the section name, if you see from this um, layout file here is content. So the name here has to be content as well. And at the end here, let's just say add end section. And I'm um, sorry guys, I have a bit of a cold. And um, yeah, so that's why my voice is sounding a bit funny. Right. So next, let's open up our um, HTML form. So we do um, hashbang hashbang in curly braces. So we're gonna do form colon colon open, and we want the form to submit to a URL, um, which is handle upload. So we're gonna pass in an array here, which um, has a key of URL, and the value for that is um, handle upload, and uh, that's the route that we created in the previous video. And you have to set uh, files to be true as well. So let's um, create a key, files, and uh, the value will be true. Sorry about that, guys. T R U E. Okay. So let's close the form. Okay. So we're going to do form close. But now let's define the body of the form. We're going to need uh, a field which is file. So let's do form. <laughs> colon colon file and the name of the um, field will be file as well let's just duplicate that a couple of times so that we can do uh, go even faster so next we have to define a token and we don't have to give it any um, name here so finally let's create a submit button so that we can submit our file upload um, form and the name the value of that will say uh, upload or the title that is okay so let's go back in our browser and when I refresh, we should see a form there. As you can see, we have a file um, form here that says uh, choose file and then um, we can choose the file. As you can see, when I um, submit that, it says files controller does not exist because the controller doesn't exist. So let's create that and the action um, itself. Okay, so let's go back to our command line here. Let's do our composer or not composer, sorry, PHP artisan make controller and the name of the controller will be files controller let's just add in a resource um, flag here so it creates some um, resource actions for us as well and it will give the name of the controller so in this case files controller so i press enter and that will create a files controller for us so let's go ahead and have a look at what's in that as you can see um, it created some uh, basic actions for us so next let's just create the action that we need manually which is the handle upload um, function so let's do a function auto complete that and handle upload so request since it's uh, um, going to be receiving some input fields from a form let's pass in the request um, parameter here so that we can access the request from the form all right so let's implement um, that now so I'm going to just format this a little bit 
okay but before we do that i'm going to do a die dump of whatever whatever it is that's in that request so we're going to do request all and then we're going to go to our form and then we submit that so i'm going to do this as you can see we're submitted to that action and it exists now but we're doing a die dump there that's why we're showing this and it has submitted the token but since we didn't select any file it didn't add a file in that um, request there okay so let's go back to our form and then now let's implement that action properly let's remove all of these so first we're going to check um if the request has a file before trying to do any file operations on that resubmitted form request okay so let's um, call the a method on request called has file so let's do has file so what file um, name are we looking for um, if you remember um, we called it file so now that we've checked that there a file exists in the request we're going to actually um, get the file so we store in a variable called file equals to request and then to access the file itself now you have to call the file method on the request and then you give it the name of the file um, in your um, view template so i'll just show you that quickly as you can see when we were defining the file we gave the name of file so if this was something like um let's say image so to access that in your controller action here you have to change this to image as well and then this to image but since we didn't name it image let's change those to file okay so the name is left entirely up to you so now that we have access to the file let's get the file name so to get the file name you have to call the get client original name on the file. So we'll say file get client original name. Okay. So that gives you the name of the file. Next, let's get the destination part. That is where um, we're going to um, store the file after we've uploaded it. So destination part equal to config so this is uh actually a config setting that we have to set but we haven't done that yet um let's first try to access this then we're going to go to our um, config slash app file and then set that value there so to access that we're going to do app dot file destination part and then once we've got the part that is the folder that the file has to be in now let's just concatenate the um, name of that file okay so we'll do a forward slash and then file name which we have accessed previously all right so next let's see if the file was uploaded by um calling the storage put method okay so um let's say uploaded equal to so this variable here will be true or false depending on if the file was uploaded so laravel provides for you a storage class which you can use to do operations on files that is upload and stuff like that all right and the class name is storage so s-t-o-r-a-g-e so let's do a use storage at the top here use storage okay so backslash storage all right so what we have to call on the storage class is the put method which just um if you give it a path and a file um, content it just stores that in that path so since we have defined a destination path here let's copy that and paste that in here so next what do we want to um, store in this path so let's do a file get contents so now we're getting a contents of um, this file here and then we're storing that in the destination path so to get the contents of the file we have to do a file get contents and then we pass it a path where the file is temporarily stored or after we've uploaded so file get real path so basically what this does is the temporary location of the file because before the file goes to its final destination um, php puts it in a temporary location so depending on your operating system that uh, may be different but don't worry about it i mean php take care of that okay so now let's do a check for if uploaded that is if this put method here return true or false so if uploaded 